That's the mission. Um, okay, so we're up to uh, we're up to Dalalamid Bays, uh, about ten lines up from the bottom. All right, so we're discussing we're discussing here um, on the difference between Nazar Shimshon and Nazar Island. So he said that the Nazar Shimshon is forever. He can't become Tame, right? He can't become Tame. I'm sorry, Nazar Shimshon can become Tame, right? He can become Tame, but if he, uh, but his Nazirus lasts forever and he can never take a haircut, right? Fine, so that's what we're saying. So now, how do we know? Um, um, how do we know? The, the, how do we know that a Nazir could become Tami? Right? I mean, I don't know. A Nazir Shimsha could become Tami. Right? Fine. So, Minolan, Minolan, the it, we see it's a one, two, three, four, five, about eight lines up from the bottom. Right? So, Minolan, the it, me, the mason. How do you know that he was a come to my mace? E Lema, can you hear me? Yeah? Okay, so yes, you can yes. hear me, Shvach? Hey, let me yes, we hear you good. What? We hear you. We hear you and the wonderful Kandalach, Baruch Hashem. Okay. Um, Um, hold on a second. Okay, so anyway, so about eight lines up. So the question is, how do you know they can become tummy? Right? We know in the itmi lemesim. How do you know you can become tummy mace? Ilemo, how do you know? The middle seven it says belechi hachamar hikesi elef ish that with the with the uh. With the lechi of a chamar, the how do you call it? The, the, the jawbone. Uh, the jawbone, right? The jawbone of a chamar, he hit a thousand men. So, meaning, so lechayra, um, the Gemara is thinking now that he hit a thousand men with it. So that means he became tummy. Let's say he stabbed them with this jawbone. So, Dilma guriy gari bahu v'leinaga bahu. Maybe he just he threw the jawbone at them, and that's how he killed them. Right, so he didn't actually touch them. Right, Ella mehacha. So it can't be from that puzzle. It must be from this puzzle. Um, he 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 hit thirty men, and he took their clothing. So if he hit thirty men and killed them, and then he took their clothing, so obviously he became tummy. Maybe he took off their clothing first, and then he killed them. So then, okay. So then the Gemara says, um, you can't say that because it says, Vayach, Vayikach. See, if it says, first he hit them, then he took them. So that can't be. So what I ask, but Dilma, Geisesin, Shavinon. Maybe they were Geisesin. So meaning a Geises is somebody who's about to die. All right, so we know the famous din by a Geises is you're not allowed to touch the Geises because it's still considered alive. And even if you're going to prolong the death, if you're going to bring the death on even a second faster, that's a Misa. So guys, this is they're gonna vada they die, but they're but they're not tummy, they're not dead, right? So maybe when they were guys, in, that's when he took off the clothing. So so therefore we still don't have a proof. Hello, Gemara Gemiri La. It's a uh, it's a what do you call it? How you say it? It's a Messiah. It's a Messiah, right? It's a tradition, tradition, right? It's a, it's a tradition, right? Fine. So now, what's what's uh, so? What's the Missouri that what? That that he could. Oh, so that's a good question. What is this Missouri? Right. It must be. Was it a Missouri that a that a Shimshin could become Tommy? That a that another Shimshin can become Tommy, or is it a Missouri that he took the clothing off? Right. That he took the clothing off first. So Tyson says, Ella Gamar, the Tysus one uh, uh, what is it? The the fourth Tysus up from the bottom that says Ella Gamara, Pirish, the Gamrina, the Katlinu Mamish, Bahadur Shluchi Shokhinon. 
right? So he said, Tosis is saying that um, he took the, we have a, we have a halach, not a halach we have a tradition that he killed them mamish, then he took off their clothing, right? Are they, are they, they, oh, very good. So then the Tosis continues, we had this in Yavamas, Oh, so that's a major tesis here for the kahanim. We have no kahanim on tonight. Punk. Okay. Right. So unless somebody became a kahan over Shabbos, but uh, right kahanim. This that we have a machloik is whether kahanim have Thomas I have Thomas oil. That's only Thomas oil. Thomas maga. That everybody holds. Everybody, not everybody. There is a sheet of the Yereim. Who holds that goyim are not tomei mes at all? How that fits with this Gemara, very, very schwer with this Gemara. But the sheet of the Yereim, the sheet of the Yereim is that it's a, that a goy is not metama bechlal, right? Very hard to understand this Gemara according to that Yereim. But uh, Thomas Oil is a machloikis. Shulchan Aruch passes it's better to not for a goyim not to become tomei Thomas Oil. This is what you get into. Can a goyim go to the hospital to visit to visit somebody? Right, if a kain needs to go to the hospital for medical purposes, okay. But stop to visit. Does a kain have to go? Right. So the so it depends which sheet do you go with. Right. So lechatrila, we try and be machmer. Yeah. Fine. So that's that. That's that. So that's how we know. Lamai said that's how we know that another shimshin could become tamimis. Okay. Now the Gemara says another oilam heichiksiv. What about another oilam? We said a Nazir Oilam is also a Nazir forever, but if his hair gets heavy, he's allowed to take a haircut. How do we know that? For Nazir Oilam, Hechaksib, the Tanya, Rebbe, Oimer, Avshalom, Nazir Oilam, Avshalom, right, was David Amela's son, and he rebelled against David, right? That was one of David's big tsaras in his life. But Avshalom made himself into a Nazir, but he cut his hair every 12 months, right? So we're going to see, actually, it's a machloikis. But anyway, so the Gemara says, Tani Rebbe, I'm Avshalom Nazir Oilam Hayah. Avshalom was a Nazir forever. Shanem of Yehim Yikates Abraham Shana. It was after 40 years, which the Gemara is going to explain later what exactly was the 40 years. But Yavon Avshalom El Amelech, and Avshalom told the king, El Chanav Avshalom is Nadari Hashanah, Nadari Lashem Bechavim, that I'm going to go pay for the Nadarim that I made to Hashem in Chavim. Right? So that's that the that the khara, the Gemara is saying that those are the the the, the kabanas you bring after your after your uh, the, your nazirus is over. And how how often did Avshalom take a haircut? He took it after every twelve months. It was the end of every every yamim, right? So on Tom and Aleph now the Gemara says the Yalef. Right? And how we learn out Yamim Yamim from Bate Arichaima. The thing by Bate Arichaima is any house that's sold in a walled city has one year return policy, automatic one year return policy. Right? So he's saying that Yamim Yamim, we learn out the Yamim by walled cities that it means a year, even though it says days. Right? It says days. But we say that it means a year. So, so too. So too, the Yamim here that it says by Avshalom means that he took a haircut once a year. <coughs> Just like over there, it's 12 months. So to here, it's 12 months. Yeah. I don't know any Tanakh. I'm, I apologize. But I, well, should, apologize. Apologize. I should apologize to myself. I should apologize to myself. You should is apologize he, to the yeshiva he, system. <laughs> is, he a, is he a good anical of Davin Amalek, this fellow? No. So then who cares what he did? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, this was bothering me. This was bothering me too, right? I'm saying this guy made Madavra Melo's life miserable. Yeah, so who cares what he did? Right, so how could, you learn the, how, how could you learn the halacha from him if he's always spoke? Yes, I, I, this, this kasha was bothering me. Um, that I'm saying, do we just learn out from any of the, uh, any of the, I call them, what do you call them, characters in Tanakh? Right? Yeah. I would say that the, the kasha is more fundamental than that. It's a fundamental kasha. Why on earth would the Navi decide to put Avshalom in, in Naviyan if he's a Russian? I have no idea. Well, my, 
Well, that was the story. Was the story. Well, Gershon, because I mean, that God, was the story. Excuse me, God put uh, Esau and Yishmael in the Chumash. So what are you saying? What's the big, There's what's a purpose the big problem? It. That's the so point. We might There's learn a purpose from that is what he's saying. We're supposed we to learn from them. If I you learn how much of a from the Why not? From, yeah. They're in why, there for okay, a reason. Why not? If you're Maybe comfortable that's the reason they're in there. If you're comfortable with it, good. If you're comfortable with it, good. That's fine. I, I, yeah. I'm happy for your Yiddish kite. I'm have a problem with my Yiddish kite. I'm happy for you. I'm very happy. <laughs> Thank you for being happy for us. And in fact, <laughs> David, if you want to go out after the year and buy a, ve a, a vegetable slice in Miami, I'll pay for it. I'll say, give you the money when you come back to New York because I'm so happy for you. I don't know, Rabban. I don't know if you're going to trust the Heksher he eats in if he wants to learn Dina from Afshal. <laughs> That's Shulman. a serious offer. I'm about to say, Rabban, you will let, let him go to Domino's. <laughs> I'm saying, Elama, you have to say that his fight on David HaMelech was L'Shem Shemayim, like every other Machlech is in Nach. Oh. Right? And, and in today's generation. Gershon, you're not agreeing with that? No, I would say even without that, the cash is so fundamental that the cash is on the Navi. Why did the cash tell the Navi? I'm to put saying it in this the guy Navi? decided to take, he went against his father for goodness. Sake. He wanted to kill his he father. He tried to kill him. Yeah. Right. So I'm saying, so we care what he, when he took a haircut? I, we all agree he's a Russian. So then what but do we say? The so do we care if Akash Baruch, Baruch, told, Akash Baruch Hu told Shmuel Navi to put it in, in certain, use certain words and write it in the VM. There's a reason that Akash Baruch Hu told the Navi to put certain words well, in. Maybe that was just the story. I mean, clearly you're right. because the Gemara We know there's no such agree. thing as just the story right. in Tyra. But we know even in the VM and Tzumim, there's no such thing as just the story. It's not a storybook. Well, that's true. But it's not. First of all, the so Gemara, it's what's it's second. One second. It didn't say. We're having uh, going to have a couple of machlaiks in here when he took this haircut. So it's not like the Navi said it. Huh? Not like the is it, said it. Is this the first time we're learning something from a bad guy? No, no, no I have a not, trouble with every time we do which we'll it's not the first you. time we're learning something from somebody. So who's every not time I, ha guy. I have the same problem every right. time. Right. I, I know you do. Right. So, 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 I, 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 I agree with David and talking about Asa. There are halachas of, of kibbud av we learn from Asa. Well, that's the thing. We learn from Asa. We, we, we always learn from guys who do things wrong. wrong. Right. Thing. Yeah. And, uh, and, we, and Michael Ben Destoy, instead of learning how to cook from the Chafetz Chaim's Rebbitzin, we learn from the, uh, uh, the bank from robber, from, from Jesse James. Yeah. So <laughs> good. That's good. That, that makes sense. It makes a whole bunch of sense. Yeah. <laughs> there's another. There's a word. When you one say it like works. that, it doesn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to prove my point. That's why I'm saying it like that. There's a worse one. That, that one is a little bit that. different. No. What? That's just learning a Matthias when something is cooked. Out of yeah, one. no, Brent to is a little different. But uh, yeah. but there's one worse that we learn Mamish out of uh, what's which one? Uh, uh, come on, it's slipping my mind. There's Coach one Mamish that we learn from the Russian. Coach Jason, what do we learn from him? No, we learn that's true. <laughs> hey, the truth is, we know from Haman that you, that cold does not absorb taste. That's according to the rush, right? So, no. Oh, matoy boy lechayakim. What we start davening with every day, right? Okay, Whatever it is, but we're seeing that the Rebbe holds of Shalom took a haircut once once a year. Now, the Raya, I remember Galeach Achas Alamad Yom. Of Shalom took a haircut every thirty days. He cut his hair every Erev Shabbos. King's kids, right, took haircuts every Friday. And since Avshalom was the son of the Melech Yisrael, David Melech Yisrael, so he must have taken a haircut every Friday. Short on, sound like a heavy Naziris to me. Right, so, I bazoy. I'm a nuzzer to the wazoo. We, we get you, 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 you don't need wine to begin. Drink wine to begin with. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he grew. He must have grown a lot of hair. That pasuk the Rebbe quoted. Because, yeah, how because much did he his was hair weigh? Because he looked at the Altazay the Asov. He was macabre that from El to have had a lot of hair from Asov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you see the weight at the end of that pasuk? The weight of his hair. It says, yeah. uh, It weighed 200 shkalim. That was the weight of his hair every week. Now, according right. to this. Right. According to that sheet, yeah. Right. Anyway, where do you get yeah. What? Where do you get every three months from? Three months? 
Yeah, where do you get it from every from three me? months? Uh, from what's called laziness. <laughs> I'm, I'm not Macabo. <laughs> yeah, anyways, <laughs> my time with the, the Rebbe. So why does Rebbe hold that it's every year? I mean, once a year. Y'all me Bata Arichayma, because he learns it out from Bata Arichayma. But Rebbe who the Amar ain't yom in Pchuse and Mishnayim. We have know that Rebbe holds, and anytime it says the word yamim, it's a plural, right? So that means it means two, two, two days, right? So maybe it should be every two days. Yamim, right? Yamim means day. Yamim, plural, two days. Maybe I've shown it every two days, right? Um, so the Gemara answers, Hai Gezeira Shava, Mishum, Hai Gezeira Shava, Mishum Koivid Gamer. What basically this Gezeira Shava is. Is that it has to do with Zera Shava having to do with how heavy it was. With two days, there's no, there's no, can't be your hair grows, gets too heavy every two days, right? So therefore, we're going to have to say that the Yamim does not mean two days. It means something more than that, which means a year. I, I can't say I understand what kind of Zera, what kind of Zera Shava is that. You're saying it's Zera Shava, but it doesn't make sense for what we would normally learn it out for. So therefore, we're going to say it means something else, right? Yeah, so basically, I mean, you have to say that it's, it's, Xerah Shav is just comparing, comparing it, but it doesn't have to be exact, whatever that means. I, I thought, isn't it because we know by Bate Arechaim, the Yom means one year. That's a drush. Right. So he would say that Yom by Avshalom also means two days, like he usually says. The problem is because of the weight, it can't be. So Mamele, he uses the Gzeri Shavit to learn from Bati Arachai, but he, the Yamim means the other meaning. He's You're forced saying, to say yeah. Gzeri Shavit because otherwise Yamim has no meaning. No, I'm just saying. In the, in the Abad Arachai, the maximum you have is a year, minimum is two days. It's, but so I, I'm saying it's not a maximum and minimum. There are two meanings. Yamim always means two days. That's what you have to That's say. That's what it always means. Yes, except by Bar Bati Arachayim. Right. So, but how do you... Good, Anachanami, you're right. That's what you have to say. But how do you know which one to do? I mean, when, when it's convenient. I mean, it's one well, of the so two. saying it's convenient. It, it always means two. two days. If it yeah. can't mean two days, we need something else for it to mean. So he goes to Bati Arachayim. Bati Arachayim is a trash. It means a year. So here also means a year. Zero shot. Yeah, okay, I hear what you're saying. That's very good. Fine, very good. So then what's the name of Beis Shamim? Maybe it means two years. And it says it was at the end of two years, right? Meaning, so maybe it should be two years, not one year. So what it says, Don and Yamim, Shani Mam Shanim. We're going to take a posset that says the word Yamim that doesn't say Shanim with it, Mi Yamim. With from days that it doesn't say years. And don't prove this one that also has the word yomim together with shnosayim yomim. Right? So shnosayim yomim is together a year with uh, this again. This is talking about um, was uh, this is by Paris dreams. It says shnosayim yomim. Right? So there maybe yomim there means two years. Right? So we're going to say no, that says shnosayim yomim. We'd rather just darshan. Where it just says Yamim having nothing to do with Shnasayim. So what's the Vayim Alamid Yamim? Maybe it means every 30 days. The Siv Ait Ad Chaydesh Yamim, right? That it's um, when the when the Yidden were were uh, were uh, um, kvetching, they were complaining in the midbar. They didn't have meat for 30 years for 30 days. So it says it says Yamim. So maybe and there means 30 days. So maybe Yomim here should also mean 30 days. So we say, Dani Yomim Shein Imam Chadashim. We're going to dash in the word Yomim that doesn't have months. Mi Yomim Shein Imam Chadashim. From days that don't have Chadashim. Ba'al Yechi Yachzeh. And don't prove this. Don't bring this one as Rosh Yesh Imam Chadashim. Meaning the one in the Midbar is talking about Yomim together with Chadashim. Selling what it says, Ve'ema Mehacha. And here, here is one of the, we haven't had this in a while, where this comes up. The same day as if anybody recognizes that, that was today's parsha, except it's not today's parsha, right? Today's parsha happens to say yomim yomima, and it means that you bring the carbon pesach once a year, right? That's not what we're talking about here. Here, yomim yomima 
is talking about in the Pasuk in uh, by Yiftach, right? That story with Yiftach who said he made a he made a nether, a shvua, whatever, that the first person to come out of his house when he comes back from war, he's being makrib, and it was his daughter, right? And then he had to be makrib his daughter. He didn't, whatever the whole story was there. But it says, miyamim yamima, right? So memela, so that means, so that means, he, it's every, every uh, so how do you get to that? Um, that you're going to be 30, how does it go? How many days? Um, every three months. Meaning no? every three months, because it's four, four, four times a year that they're going to be, uh, um, um, they would go, meaning they were going to be sad about the daughter, what happened with Yifta, whether she actually died, she didn't, whatever it is. But and that's assuming that it was divided like. evenly, which we don't even know, right? Correct. There's no way for us to know that. Correct. Well, that's the thing. So again, let, let's just clarify. So they, four times a year, they went out and they um, mourned Yiftach's daughter. All right. So we don't know how what's well, four times a year. All right. The same thing like you says to check mezuzahs twice every seven years. Right. So what does that mean twice every seven years? Is that every three and a half years? Or is it, or is it a different time? All right. So Mamela. Um, so, so we don't know. So the assumption is, is that they did it four times a year. So it means every three months. So the Gemara says, no, then we're not going to learn that because Donin, Yomim, Yomim, Ain Donin, Yomim, Yomim. We're going to don your word Yomim from Yomim, and we're not going to don Yomim from from Yomim. You're not supposed right, to tell them. I'm going to change spots. Hold on. Um, yeah. My nafkamina, right? So, what's the difference? What's the difference? Why does it have to be an exact thing? I mean, we keep saying that you have to dash in yom, yomim from yomim. Why can't you dash in yomim from yomima? Just like we know, v'shava kain ubayak right? That someone when the kain comes by tzaras, so he goes, the kain. The way, same way he leaves is the same way he goes, right? So why don't we say that? So meaning, it, and we compare the shabuba. Those two are totally not the same. So animili heicha the lack of the damile. That's we only say the shabuba and hoagam. We have nothing else. Avalecha the ika the damile with the damile yofino. But where we say that you have something to compare it to, so then we're going to compare it to that, right? That's that's one way. You could me. Or you could say that you can't learn that from Yom Yamima, Minoya Dina, the cult loss in Yachin Khad Zimna. Right? So we're saying that every 30 days is one time, meaning not some not 30 days, every three months is once. That's what we were assuming, right? It said four times a year they they had Avelis over her, right? So how do you know? Because we're assuming every, if you split a year four ways, it's every three months. Dilma. Maybe it's four times in a year, but it's not it's not all equal. Or four months at one time. Train Yarchin Zimno or two months at one, meaning we don't know exactly which one it is. Right? Um, so therefore we can't allow for Yom Yamima. I gotta stop here for a second. I'll be back in a in a This station identification is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Drink Coca-Cola. Stu Coke. Better Stu Coke. Parrots, you what do you said they got for 26 pies and you need to know which two slices of Siaka wants? You can't send the order in yet? I think that's what it is. There's a limited amount of pizza and he ran to grab it. Thank you. 
Okay, bye. Thanks, sorry. Apologize. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, so that's all you can't learn out from Yom Yomimo. Yeah? Yeah, we're about a little bit more than halfway down. I just realized also, I were making, we're talking about making Gezerah Shavas, we're not exact. I said, hold on a second, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I, I noticed <laughs> Talk that. About you yeah. notice that? Yeah. I just, when I'm, I'm thinking, one second. You said, "Hold on a second, I'll be back in a minute." Okay, so and I, <laughs> so yeah, I guess I don't know what that has to do with the daughter. Maybe it's my English for saying like, "Why can't these guys just talk clearly?" Right? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so and I apologize. So he had a different sheet, right? He said, He Avshalom took a haircut once every thirty days. My time, uh. What's up, Shah? My time, Agabe Kehanim. Right? What's up, Shah? The Kehanim, they have to take every 30 days. Mishum de Ika Kaivid. Why? Because it's because it gets too much hair every 30 days. Hachanami Ika Kaivid. So, to buy of Shalom, there was a uh, Kaivid was every, um, it was every 30 days. It was already too much. Meaning he's learning out from Av Shalom from Kehanim, regular Kehanim, right? The Kohen Gadol, we said, took a haircut every day. Every day, every day right? Day. It was every yeah. day, yeah. He took a haircut every Friday, just like sons of kings. So, um, so why, what's the difference between Avshalom from his brother, from his brothers, right? Who who also were were b'nei Malachim, right? And it's and uh, well, I'm not sure where, where is the Gemara coming from exactly. Who says they were different? Right, it's, I guess because the pasuk um, sp sp said of Shalom, so Mamela, why, why? So why is it saying of Shalom took a haircut every every according to Rabbi Yaisi, he took a haircut every thirty days? I mean, that's what every king's, so every son of a king had to do, right? So the one answers Yom Tov Shabbos. So the difference would be, be would be is let's say Yom Tov fell out in the middle of the week. His brothers would take a haircut for Yom Tif, even though they took a haircut. Let's say Yom Tov fell out on a Wednesday. Even though they took a haircut Friday, they would take another haircut Wednesday. Who But he, Avshalom, would not take a haircut because he needed to have a week out his Naziris. At what time on Friday could you take the haircut? Right? The Achai Megalchen, um, his brothers were able to take a haircut right away in the morning. He could not take a haircut until Mamish, the day was um, turning, meaning uh, the, the late in the afternoon, which is, which is when you have this issue with an oval who's getting up uh, an oval, what time do any stam when somebody's in Shiva, we should never know from it, but they get up from Shiva, um, either they get up, what time they get up from Shiva for Shabbos. They can't get up Friday morning. They have, it's not Miksas Yom Kekulay, which is going to be tomorrow, so give it a Right, we don't see mixes Yom Kuli. The Shiva is the whole the whole Friday. The Shabbos, what time did they start preparing? <coughs> so Shalom was the same thing. <coughs> Since he was a Nazir, he couldn't just take a haircut Friday morning. No, he had to take a haircut, show that it was covered Shabbos. It had to be much later on in the day. Either plag, minchaketana, whatever it is. Fine. Well, wasn't Tav Shalom ultimately killed by getting stuck in a tree with his hair? Yes. And he took a haircut once a week. He was on the way to the barber. That's, I mean. <laughs> well, you have to know how long the hair was. You have to know how long the hair was he was starting off with. We're talking about Gilua. No? Isn't that where we started? Yeah, but I don't know what that means. I don't know what Gilua means. What does that mean? It means shaving mamesh. Yeah, maybe, he got, maybe he got caught by his payas in the tree. No, his hair got caught in the tree. That's how he died. 
Payas is not here? I, I, I don't know if his payas would have caught him in the tree. I don't think he was so Hasidish. Uh, no, I'm not. They're trying to kill their fathers. Uh huh. Uh huh. Melch had a big business. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Did you say brothers? Did you say fathers? The Gershon. I said fathers. I know. <laughs> um. Yeah, but anyways, okay, so that's it. So then the Gemara says, Hani Arbarim Shana Maya What was this 40 years about? It said then the 40 years of Shalom went to the what is that? Yeah. Um, right, because again, it can't be in the 40th year of Dovra Melech, because Dovra Melech only ruled for 40 years, right? So um, he lived till 70. Hani Arbarim Shana Maya Vidutai. So Rabbi Nuray Aimer, Meshum Rabbi Shua, Lakates Mem Shana Shisholu Lahen Melech. At the end of the 40 years that they asked Shmuel for a melech, the way it goes in Shmuel is, and had I not started learning Nach a couple of months ago, I would have no idea of this, but I have to say that I happen to have started learning Nach here and there. And in Shmuel, what happened was there was no king. So the Yidden came to Shmuel and said, we need a king. We need a king, which that was looked at like as a rebelliousness against the Rabbi Shalom, which is the majority of Nach, in case anybody doesn't know that. Right? And... Uh, <clears throat> they looked at it like this rebelliousness. So this was 40 years from when they asked Shmuel that they needed a king. Tana, we learned, the year that they asked for a king, that was the 10th year of Shmuel Haramasi. That was the 10th year that Shmuel was the, the Navi leading Klai Yisrael. Okay, there you go, a little bit of history. Bottom line is we have a three-way machlaikis. Um, you know, three of my like over what to, what to, what to, uh, how many, when exactly Avshalom took his haircuts. And the bottom line is that a Nazir Ailam, we know, is allowed to take haircuts when it gets, because Avshalom was not a Nazir Shimshin. He was a Nazir Ailam. And you see that a Nazir Ailam, when the hair got heavy, then they took haircuts. That's the bottom line we'll see from this. Fine. Now we have the shortest mission in Shas, I think. Right? Yeah. I can go tell my kids, uh, we can learn a mission of Alpe. Oh, I don't know if they have like, uh, you know, Mishnah is Alpe contest over winter vacation. I should tell them, here you go. Stam, Stam Nazir is Lamed Yoim. Stam Nazir is 30 days, meaning when a Nazir makes, unless he specifies otherwise, the length of a Nazir is 30 days. So Mara says, Minoani, Mili. This is only the size of the Mishnah in the Gemara. The actual Mishnah is a little longer. I meant to look it up. It's, is it the next mission is part of this mission? That's uh, are you sure that that's the way you sure that that's the way it's supposed to be, or that's what they did? I don't see any any uh, um, well, apparently, there's a smug. On the second part of the mission in the Gemara. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's uh yeah. <clears throat> Fine. So Minani Mili. Now this is very interesting. How do you know this? So Omar of Masna, Omar Omar Kra Kodesh here. He's gonna be Kodesh, he's gonna be holy, the Nazir. Um Yiyah Bikamachri Tlasanavi. So what's the Gematria Yiya? Yud hey, Yud hey. That gives us that gives us 30. So Mamela must be a Stam Nazirus is 30 days. So you see that Grimatrias have, have validity to it. Barpada Amar, Keneged Nazir, Nizroi Hamurim Batayra. It's Keneged, the word Nazir in Nizra that it says in the Torah, which is Lamid Chasar Achas, 30 minus one. So if it wasn't right. in the Gemara, we didn't have to follow these Gematrias. Now that it's in the Gemara, we have to follow it. We have to listen to them. Yes, that's yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying you see, you see, yeah, you see that there are Gemaras that sometimes go with Gematrias. This is not the only Gemara. I'm not remembering now which is the other Gemara. Uh, but uh, oh, right. the first place was in Gittin. Why a get has ten lines is because Gematria get. That's also how lucky. Right. right. No, Gematria. but there's something more in the Gemara. Yeah, what does this mean, the word nausea? What does it mean? I don't understand what it says. 
What does it what does it mean? Yeah, what is it what 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 does that mean? What is Barpata saying? I don't understand it. Can what? I give out? Um what he's saying, what's that? You have to look at the you gotta look at the Rashi. Look at the Rashi. Barpada Armor, you see it? It's a fa fascinating Rashi. If you think that Dr. Seuss didn't learn Rashi, Dr. Seuss must have learned Rashi in, in Nozir. Okay? Because <laughs> here it says, okay. uh, I hope that's not a bazillion to, uh, but it's saying, look at it, it says here, he goes through every one, four lines up from the bottom in the Rashi. Yeah. He says, Lindar, Neder, Nozir, Lehazer, Yazer, Nizre, Neder, Nizre, Yazer, Hazero, Nizre, Nizre, Vehezer, Nizre, Nizre, Hanazer, Nizre, Hanazer, Nizre, Nizre, Hanazer, Nizre, Hanazer, Hanazer, Yoder, Nizre, Nidre, Yoder, Nizre, Heri Laman, Chaser, Achas. What? It says 30 times in the Chumash yes, the word Yoder? Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. And he went through every one of them right there. Uh -huh. I did not count. I'll be honest with you. I didn't count. I'll take Rashi's word for it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> but he's saying 29 times, right? Not 30. It's right. So that's another thing. I, I don't I don't understand. What is this thing with 30 minus one? Why is it? Uh, Malamites Malachas also. We should only it's, it's, math from Gemara Sukkah. Because it what? doesn't count. We should only oh. learn between Gemara Sukkah. Nowhere else we should learn math. No, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the Lamed mind is. I don't have Svarim with me. I, I meant to look before Shabbos. Why is it always doing that? Doesn't like to go with an even number. Right? Doesn't like to say 30. 30 minus 1. Okay. Um, so why is it 30 if it says 29 times? Is it, no, so that's, that, that's the more 30 minus 1. Now. Not 30, 30. No, that's, that's what the Gemara is going to discuss. Is Nazirus really 29 days or is it really 30 days? Because the Mashim, according to Barpada, that Nazirus is really 29 days. Right? The Rashi does bring that there is another time. It says in Nazir Aloikov, right? That, but that's not counted because there the word Nazir doesn't mean to whatever. I don't know what the type of Nazir is, but there the word Nazir means a crown. So that's not, that's not this one. It reminds me of the Gemaisa of Rabbanim. How many times it says Moshe in the Torah? That's this week's Parsha, right? This is the is same thing. Yeah. 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 It's be said this Wait. week's Parsha. I mean, the computer mean, said it was whatever, and he said no, it was one less. He they asked the computer how many times it says Moshe in the Torah, so he said a number, and Rabbanim said no, it's one less because it might be said or Mas or or Masha Yodai or Misa Misa. Today's parsha, yeah. Yeah. But anyways, okay. So that's so that's the machlokes. What, what do you say? Good. What do you say with this week's parsha? What do you say? It wasn't counted. Misa, misa is not counted. The computers uh -huh. spelled the same, same as Moshe. You know, there was a similar mice in the Dorim, right? That there were two bachrim battling in the mirror years ago, and the Rav Nachum Pertzavitz came by. So they said, uh, oh, Ikadamri, because they want to make it look like they were learning. Ram Nochem looks and they're learning the Dharam. And he says, there's no Ikadamri in the Dharam. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 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 so then, <laughs> and then they said the mice over to Reb Chaim. I think Rabbi Rosner said it in the Dharam one time. They said it over to Reb Chaim Kenevsky. And he says, yeah, but there is in the Dharam, there is an Ika, Yesh, Ika, Demand the Amri or something. There's that was a version of it, but I am said. <laughs> okay. If anybody needed a little Halisha that asked to start the week, you have it. Okay. So, anyways, so it comes out that according to Bapada, it's really 29 days of Nazirus. And according to Ramasna, it's 30. Okay. So, anyone says, Ramasna, Nami, Nailif, me, Nazir, Nizroi. How come Ramasna doesn't learn it out from all the times it says Nazir? Nizroi, all the variations in the Torah. No, because we need all of those Nazirs and Nidros for Drushas. Right? It says to, to not, he, he's making himself a Nazir from Yayin. And we said Sheikh doesn't mean beer, it means like older wine. Lesser Yayin Mitzvah, ki Yayin Rishus, right? We said uh, two days ago, to Aser Yayin of Mitzvah, like Yayin of Rishus, which just the Chazarover we had said is talking about if a guy made a shvua, the guy made a shvua that he has, uh, um, 
that he's not going to drink, that he's going to drink wine, then he becomes a nuzzle, he's not going to drink wine. Fine. Then the Gemara the says, answer, yeah. I, I meant to ask, what happened with Nazir Shimshin and Yayin? Doesn't mention. Nazir Shimshin is also Yayin? I thought so. We only speak about Tuma and, and Hair. Um, I, I'm assuming because it doesn't say it, so Mamela, it's, uh, it's uh, I, I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I don't know if that's if that's the case or not. But either way, so anyway, it says Kiyafli Lindor Nazir, Kiyafli Lindor Neder Nazir Lahazir. Right? If a man is going to say a neder of a nazir to make a uh, nazirus, melamech a nazirus chala al nazirus, that teaches us we had this in the dorm that a person can make himself a double nazir, meaning a guy says, I'm a nazir, I'm a nazir. Right? Which we had a hard time understanding exactly how that worked. But a guy, he's saying, I'm a nazir, I'm a nazir. He's got to be a nazir for 60 days. He gets a 30-day nazirus, and then he gets a, another 30 days nazirus. Yeah? So Rabbi meaning, so, so what Rav, Rav, Rav uh, Masna is saying, we need to learn out all these things from Nazir, Lahazir, Nizroy, we need them. So then how can you go darshan them that it has to do with the psukim, right? How can you go darshan that you need it for 30 days? So on Tomit Bay's now. Ubar Pada. Okay, what about Barpada? Doesn't Barpada hold that you need some? Again, Barpada is saying the reason why it says the terminologies 29 times in the Torah is because we need to learn something out of each and every one. Right? So, so what Papada doesn't need any of those? So I'm Allah. Papado say, Leka Khad Minhoin the Lavla Drasha. Is then I'm sorry, I'm a, he's gonna say that isn't there at least one that you need a drasha for? Avada, right? Um, I'm sorry, isn't there one that you don't need a drasha for? I Meaning you're not gonna tell me that all 29, but by Rav, Rav Masna saying you need to use every one of these Lashonis of Nadir and Nazir to learn out something. So Papad is saying back to him, every all 29 can't be Elamidahula Minyana. Since it's using one of them, meaning it's gonna it's we're gonna have to use them for Minyana. Kulunami la minyana. So all of them are also for Minyana. Meaning the reason why it's leaving one extra lushan of Nadir or Nazir somewhere in the Torah, it has to be extra in order to tell us that it has to do with the points of the day, right? So Mamela, so Mamela, um, so therefore it's going to free up all the other nether nuzzers, even though you're dashing from it anyways. Yeah, fine. So, so that's, so that, again, so Barpad is basically saying all 29 words cannot be darshaned. There's going to be one that's going to be open. We're going to say that one is for, that one represents all the rest of the nether and nuzzers to, that Mela, it's done. Uh, it's uh, it's used for the minimum amount of days. Fine. Now, really, what we should do is is jump to the the, the Mishnah in on. I think it was a what daf is it on? Tzayin Yudzayin. Okay. Well, that's the next one. Okay. First, let's go to first our Mishnah. It's not. So our Mishnah Lachar is a big kash on Barpada, right? What does Zev was saying? Right. He according to Barpada, the zero should be twenty nine days, not thirty days. Right. If you say that, if you say that he uh, is um, is thirty, okay, that's I mean that's he is the gematria thirty, but parpada should be twenty nine days, right? So tanan, that's a gemara's kasha. Tanan stam nazir shloish shimyoi. So bishul ramasna nicha to ramasna makes sense. El parpada kasha, but according to parpada, it's a kasha, right? Stam nazir should be twenty nine days, not thirty days. So I'm Allah Parpada, I did the Ika Yom Tlas and the Megaleach, or maybe Kabbarnas. So since the 30th day, he's Megaleach and he brings his Karbanas. So that's why it said 30, meaning the 30th day is when he brings his Karbanas and he takes his haircut. So that's what it meant, Stam Nazirus Shloishim Yom. But really, it means there's 29 days of Nazirus. And on the 30th day, he, he finishes up. Right? Fine. Now, this. Um, okay, you know, we don't have to learn the Mishnah. If anybody gets a chance between today and tomorrow, we'll almost, we'll, this, we go, the Mishnah, there's a Mishnah to Zayin of Aralus that says four different scenarios of Nazirus. And the Gemara is going to ask Akasha on Barpada from every single one of those scenarios. Right? So let's see. So Tanan, 
When is his haircut? On the 31st day. So now the kasha is going to be obvious. So we understand, according to Ramas, the 30 days is Nazirus. And the 31st day, he takes care of business, right? He takes the, he does the haircuts and he does the, and he does the karbonas. According to Barpada, that should be taking place on day 30, like the Gemara just said. But what about the Seifa? The Seifa says, But if he did take a haircut on the 30th day, then he's Yotza. So how could that be? Right? How could that be? According to Barpada, how could that be? Hello, Seifa, Misayele. Seifa is a proof to Barpada. Right? Now, basically, you have the ratio that says he should really take the haircut on the 31st. The Seifa says, if he did it on the 30th, then it's okay. So which is the Iker? Right, so the chayr is sefer is a raya to barpada, and the reisha is a kasha. So what he's going to say is the sefer is a raya. Reisha nasek ka'imer shleimin must be the reisha is when he said that he's making a nazirus, a full nazirus. Right, meaning stam nazirus is twenty nine days according to barpada, but if he said that he's making a nazirus of thirty days, then of course he brings his carbon on the thirty first day. Right, so ban basically what we're saying is that since the way the rush the rush says it is that since no, people normally don't do things in in fractions, right? They do it in, in whole numbers, right? So Mustamba 30, he when he says I'm gonna be a full nazir, he meant full meaning 30 days, not 29. Right, that's what he's saying. So when the, the ratio is talking about what he said, I'm gonna be a nazir for 30 days. The safe is going to say that he is not a nazir for uh, for thirty. For he stam said nazir, fine. Then we're asking the Rav Masna kasha safe. So according to Rav Masna, according to Rav Masna, how can you take a haircut on day thirty? You'd have to be a nazir till t- up until day thirty-one. Kasavar, and we'll 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 get into this tomorrow. But Hashem miktsa sayyim kikuloi. He says no. You could theoretically take a haircut on day thirty because right when he wakes up in the morning. He, that's already his 30th day of Nazirus. So he's a Nazir, same way with Shiva. We should never know from him and not use it as an example. Unfortunately, it's uh, in Yonah de Yoyma, but uh, they should all, the, the learning should be a schos, Taka. But, uh, but, um, but and Kukul is that you, the person sits Shiva for a minute in the morning and that's it. It's as if they sat the whole day. So the same thing he's saying, the Ramasna is saying the same thing with Nazirus. He wakes up so in the morning. We don't say that by everything. With a well, and Shuma, you have to wait for the sun to set. Well, that's all. Right. So I'm saying, ha- yeah, we don't. We don't say that. That's, that's what we're gonna that's have to. Com- right, we're gonna have to work, and we don't say mixes young cool and Shabbos either, as much as the kids would love to when the Mets are playing on Shabbos afternoon. And mixes, <laughs> they never use mixes a young Kukuli on me. That one they never use. Like, <laughs> right. I'm saying we don't say it when there's sometimes that we do say it. Sometimes we don't say it. Right, but here he's saying Barpa the same. Did he have it? If the guy wakes up on the day thirty, doesn't drink wine, doesn't take a haircut, right? He's good, and now he can bring his carbonus. He's not again. But if you hold mitzvah and kukula, so why, according to Ramasna, can he do a lechatchila? Right, the Lamai Ramasna does not hold the lechatchila. You say mitzvah sayam kukula by nazirus. Lechatchila, he's got to wait the whole day. Did he have it? If he did it, then it's okay. Right. So we're gonna have to see uh, because the Gemara is gonna go through that a little bit. What? He holds mixes by Yom Kukulo, but not by Nazir. He does. He, no, he holds a bit the Yevid by Nazir. Okay. Lechatchila or not, but if he did it, Doesn't then it's okay. Doesn't Nazir bring Kabanas? Yeah, so he could bring the Kabanas that day. The day 30, bit the Yevid, because mixes a Yom Kukulo. He gets the haircut before Kabanas or after Kabanas? Uh, I don't remember. So the haircut before or after the Kabanas. He throws the hair into the carbon, so it has to be before. before okay. Right, it has to be before. Yeah. Okay, so we'll stop over there. I'll just, uh, I sent out, I just sent out the Chazara. We just want to just Chazara, for those who want to listen, want to look, whatever it is. So, so we basically said this three sheet is when Avshalom cut his hair. Right? Now we said why Rebbe says a year and not two days, two years, 30 days, or three months. Those are the options. And we, we answered up all of them that that's not the way you learn out things. Then we said, Kaihanim cut the hair every 30 days because it gets heavy, and the same thing with Avshalom. Then we said, how is Avshalom different 
then his brothers when taking haircuts. So we said two pshatim. Either his brothers took haircuts when there was Yom Tif in the middle of the week. His brothers took haircuts on Yom Tif during the week and he didn't. Or his brothers were able to take haircuts Friday morning and Rav Shalom had to wait till Friday afternoon. And then we said that the 40 years for Rav Shalom was referring to 10 years. 10, it was 40 years after they asked Shmuel for, uh, for a king. Right? And then uh, we then, then we said the Mishnah of Stam Nazir is 40 days. I wrote 40 days, 30 days. I got to change that. Um, yeah, so Stam Nazir is 30 days. Um, and then we said, how do we know that? That's a machlaikis. We said either it's from the Gematria Yiyah or it's because there's 29 variations of Nazir written in the Torah. So then we said, how does, how does he... Um, what does he do with it? So meaning, why does Bar, why does Ramasna not learn like Bar Pada says? Because you need those all those Nazirusin to to darshan things out. So then on Tom Bays, we said, and Bar Pada, what's he going to do about that? He says, no, one at least one of those words is is available to darshan. So we're going to darshan that just like it's available for that for that uh, for for a drasha. So that means we're going to learn out all the rest of those. All the rest of those 29 Lashinus. And then we asked the Kashmir Mishnah. Mishnah says it's 30 days. According to Barapad, that's 29 days. All right, so we said he means that uh, that 20, the 30th day is the day you take the haircuts and do the karbanas. That's part of the Naziris. Then we had a Kash on Barapad from the Mishnah later on that says that on the 31st day you take haircuts. That's Lachaira Kash on Barpada. So we said no, Barpada, the re, the Seifa says, but if he did do it on day 30, it's okay. So that's a riot to Barpada. So Alamai, we said that one is a, one, one, what? So we said that, uh, um, how do we answer it again? We said that, um, yeah, the right, so the, the ratio is like stomach. Meaning, right, so to say, really, normally, Stam Nazir is 29 days, but if a person says, like, a whole number, he says, oh, I'm going to be a Nazir, a complete Nazir, so then that's 30 days. And then we said, Ramasan is going to answer that up by saying, he's going to say that 31 is the right way to do it, 30 days, and then bring Maku Karbanas, and, and, but if you did it on day 30, because of Mixas Ayam Kukulai, so then that works, right? Fine. Okay, so that we'll stop over there. I'm sorry for the delays and being late. And that's, uh, yeah, all right. A good work and a good job.